going on, thugs? This week, we can't stop, won't stop with The Old Man in the Sea by Ernest Hemingway. It's been 84 straight days since old fisherman Santiago done caught his ass a fish. Matter of fact, this geez is so shit out of luck that Mandolin, his little thug in training, got a bail on him. Manny folks lay down the law and tell him he got to crew up with some other hustler who making it rain fish on a rig. But even though they ain't riding tight no more, Mandolin still got Santiago's back. Every night he helps Santiago truck his gear back to the crib where they chop game about that main man Joe DiMaggio. And just like Joey D, Santiago gonna stay on his game till the day he go. So later, Santiago gets up on his hoopty and tracks out farther than he usually do. As he chilling in the deep, his line hooks a big ass marlin. Look, this fish got such a fat ass that he pulls the whole boat with him as he tries to jet. But Santiago ain't backing down. No matter how much it hurt to hang on that line, he ain't letting go. A day goes by and both Santiago and that fish still going hard. Santiago thinking, I feel your pain, brother. After three days of raw dog in his mitts, Santiago shanks that marlin with his harpoon, straps it to his ride, and starts flowing home. But soon a shark creeps up on that boat and starts grubbing on that marlin. Santiago all like, hell no, nah. best step off my fish, son. So he chunks his harpoon right through that shark's dome, but loses his piece in the process. Damn. When most sharks start lurking around that boat, Santiago wonders if all this pain might have been for nothing. But our boy don't quit. He gonna get or rig himself a shiv and keep stabbing them haters. Even though Santiago keeping it real as he can, them fat ass sharks ain't done to that marlin ain't nothing but bones. After Santiago gets back to the shore, all the hoods on the block gather around to peep game at that gnarly fish skeleton. It's so damn big, they be thinking old Santiago caught himself a shark. Then Madeline drops in on Santiago's crib while he catches some Z's. When he peeps how jacked up that geezer's hands be from warm with the fish, fool busts into tears. Santiago's crusty ass wakes up, chops game with Manny, and they decide to become fishing partners again. Then Santiago crashes and dreams his usual dream. Lions chilling on the beach. Ain't no doubt about this book's main theme. Man can beast through even the nastiest pain when he got his eye on the prize. And for old man Santiago, the prize ain't just flipping that marlin for some fat coin, but to show out and prove that even though his old ass might be shitting in diapers, he still got the juice. In all Hemingway's books, there are two kinds of brothers, the big dogs and the little old bitches. The bitches are nothing but your ordinary scrubs who cool with just being normal. But the big dogs be all the G'd up heroes who break off of all society's haters and chase a life outside of what's normal. Like my man Santiago, fool takes it to the next level when he literally goes out farther to fish than everybody else. Not only that, but Santiago throws up his middle finger to society's superficial bullshit, keeps it trill, and gets tight with mama nature. All up in this text we see in Santiago tied to nature's little homies. He had no mysticism about turtles. He was sorry for them all. Most people were heartless about turtles because a turtle's heart will beat for hours after he has been cut up and butchered. But the old man thought, I have such a heart too, and my feet and hands are like theirs. And if you think it stops there, you straight tripping. On the real, the main animal Santiago associated with is that marlin. Come on and kill me. I do not care who kills who. Now you are getting confused in the head, he thought. You must keep your head clear. Keep your head clear and know how to suffer like a man. Or a fish, he thought. Some scholars even think that fish repping Jesus. See, to some Christians, this world only meaningful because of Jesus' pain and sacrifice. And for Santiago, it ain't no different. Homie's life is meaningful because of that fish beasting through pain and sacrificing his life. And since Santiago feeling the hurt too, he also repping the big JC. He slept face down on the newspapers with his arms straight out and the palms of his hands up. But just cause you repping through the sh don't mean you always gonna come out on top. Life ain't about that blood. It's about struggling to live to your last breath. As Santiago say, a man can be destroyed, but not defeated. So fight the good fight by hitting that subscribe button and telling your friends. Catch you next week. Peace. Thank you.